Blue Valley Sport. Those will be a Cutlass Supreme that you're looking at here. Only made 3,600 of them. They only came in banana yellow. Oh, wow. Yellow <laughs> bumper, yellow wheel. Huh. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, that's scary. The man is scary. <laughs> This is 1940 Cadillac. It scared me too, and I didn't even. You ever saw the show of Riley Miss Daisy? Yeah. This is a car like she would have been in. Look at the back seat, see how much room there is there. And then look at the front, it has a double mirror. One of the mirrors is for looking back at your passengers. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, yeah, it does. Right up there. I was this is a Camaro SS from 1964. This is either a 64 or 65 Camaro. Now look at this gentleman here. He's got a white cap on, backwards, white shirt. He's facing some nail bins. Are those real nail bins or are those painted? Walk up and look. It's so shiny. I like shiny, shiny. Now, Sylvia, that's Toby's wife that you met out here. A roadrunner? She had collected over 2,000 antiques, and now she has a place to store her junk. <laughs> All these different storefronts have period correct antiques from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Now, the car you're looking at here, this is uh, a Plymouth Roadrunner. Road it's got the decals on the side, it's got the air grabber, uh, the tiny steering wheel that goes uh, beep, 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 the horn. <laughs> They bought the right from Warner Brothers from the cartoon company for fifty thousand dollars to put that on their limo. Wow. Now these buildings look just like they are down the center. They're half size of what they would be in Spencer. That's just 20 miles south of us. That's where uh, Toby and his wife Sylvia grew up. Some of these stores have the same sign. This is a uh, 1949 Packard. Look in the back, and you'll see it's got a junk seat, a third seat. We call this our presidential one seat. It has black, black repaint. It's all original. The car you're looking at here is a 1967 Plymouth GTX. They only made 580 of these down in St. Louis, Missouri. This is one of 17 convertibles that were made, one of 10 with Bob Manning that made. It's got the Hemi, 4.6 cubic inch engine, 425 horsepower. Just go out and look at that engine. Now, Look under Bird's Head Drug. See how that street has turned and facing you now? Wherever you're at, your eyes will follow the picture, the mural will follow your eyes. When you're looking at this side street, see how it's straight? Now, as you walk along, it'll actually follow your eyes. <laughs> this was the first. The 65 Thunderbird. Is um, nice. Kind of wish it was a 64. Those are <laughs> those are pretty nice. Look at that front end. It was like this 1950. See how all the cars line up? Look like they're all part of the mural.
want to go up here, you have to drive up backwards. If you're ready, you've got a hard top convertible, top will come off, you manage to drive you down the road. Top on there, fifty five cubic inches. Four oh nine cubic inch engine. 152 miles an hour, 1934. 152 miles an hour. That's all okay for the mobile home park first time. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 See the uh, four wind. Most cars look like the ones you see down the line. So this is so advanced in style. This is capable of 100 miles an hour. Most of the roads back then were gravel, so you couldn't go 100 miles an hour. It's Model T. Oh, yeah. Just got this car in 1929 Ford Model A Woody Wagon. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at the woodwork on that. Yeah. Now come on over here. This is called the Mary Go In. It actually had a rotating bar. If you look down at this end, that's Sylvia. That's the gal you saw up front. This is Toby, her husband. Next to Sylvia is uh, her two daughters, Eva and Kevin, and then another. These two motorcycles up here at Polaris Industries, just south of the bike. We've got ratchet wrenches, socket wrenches, regular wrenches, sockets. The gal that bought this place back in the 40s was a fan dancer from New York. There's her ridden go peacock, peacock feathers, original piano, Reginald Saddle Shooter sign. Uh, Toby has his friends up here and they watch Iowa football. Yeah. Yeah, this is all. This gentleman, a member of the Gypsies in the 50s, and uh, he used to run the striker where you'd hit this and ring the bell. 
He brought us back the original mallet. Off his pants. He used 400 gallons of high-end diamond blades. Smaller vehicle. Jimmy and Bob, they're not much more than having a big piece of pie without.